Deputy DeRozier was shot on Saturday night. Elise Haas joins us now with more on that and new details into this investigation. Elise. Yes, Ken and Jenny, this all started over the weekend when Deputy DeRozier was responding to a call of a disabled motorhome that was blocking a road in Kalama late Saturday night. So what seemed like a simple dispatch turned deadly. And here are the first responder dispatch calls the night that he was shot. Take a listen. No, we don't know anything. He just got on the radio, said he's been shot, and now he's not answering us. He was on a parking complaint. And also check on life flight, please. Do we know if there's a suspect vehicle to be looking for? This is a parking complaint. I don't have any other information. As soon as I do, I will tell you. These are some very tense moments as this was all unfolding. And investigators have now identified the man accused of shooting and killing Deputy DeRozier. They say he is Brian Butts of Longview, who was killed in a shootout a day later. Two other men were arrested in connection with the case. Matthew Beach appeared before a judge yesterday a first-degree charge of rendering criminal aid. Matthew told investigators he heard gunshots from his home. Then Brian Butts appeared out of the bushes, telling him and his brother he needed to get away. Beach then told investigators Butts said he shot an officer. Beach then hid Butts in an abandoned barn and later told officers he didn't know where he was. The judge set Beach's bond at $50,000 and he's due back in court at the end of the month. Now, all of this took place in Cowlitz County, but the Clark County Sheriff's Office was the ones who were responsible for investigating this. And of course, we're going to continue to follow the story and bring you the latest. Developments. But for now, reporting live in Clark County, Elise Haas, Coin 6 News.